I just, I had to, I'm going a little bit nuts. I haven't been able to put up a video in a while and I've been waiting to shoot this right here to tie all the other clips together because it's been so long because of the other video. And I just gotta show you before I go and ruin this just to make it work, you know, setting up the lights and going through all the footage and stuff and, you know, trying to tie it together. But life doesn't always allow you to tell a story the way you want. So with that being said, let me just tell you during the car ride. <laughs> We're going to have to figure this out. In, uh, in lieu of not doing the same shitty job forever, I've, uh, I've upgraded. I've got a nicer little rig from my camera with a microphone and, you know, it like it's just it's a nicer little rig and that poses a problem because I don't have a proper way to mount it on the dash anymore because this little uh, console gets in the way so I gotta figure that out in the meantime um, this is the conversation we're gonna have love it or leave it I hope you love it let's uh I've I've already started 2018 off on a bad note by sacrificing quality for content I don't know. I guess that's the idea, though, right? Just tell the story as best you can. I think that, and I'm going to dive into this in another piece that I have thought out that I want to talk about, but I think that for me, the idea is that you can go back and rehone and rehone and rehone and work on telling a story to a point of perfection or complacency, but I think that you don't ever get over your own shit enough to present the story to other people. So I think that um, there's gotta be a sacrifice at some point. And while I've been waiting and waiting and planning and plotting to sit down and shoot this little uh, talking head segment, I just gotta get it done. I just gotta get it done. I definitely wanna just say thank you for all the support on the For Lisa video, our infertility story. Um, that's it, it was well received and I'm, I'm glad that I could create something that evokes emotion from people. I think that that's a compliment and uh, it does make me feel good. I could have taken that story in a couple of different directions. I could have been a little bit more particular about the, uh, the specifics and the technicalities of the process and, you know, going for blood work seven days a week and, you know, just the awkwardness of the process. And I might dive into that down the road and talk about it a little bit more. But I think that this piece was more about the story of the heart, the story of, uh, our love and heartache and sorrow and while I make these videos and I highlight my relationship with my child why do I highlight that relationship why is it so important it's important because he's the only one I get on to the things that I did capture um, and this is pretty much a holiday highlight reel if you will but less the holiday more the highlights and uh, it started with you know a little Christmas light application putting the Christmas lights up on the house and uh, somebody tried to assault me. So I'm doing Christmas lights and rather than helping me, I'm getting attacked. <laughs> Better back up fool. I freaking love that kid, he's hilarious. I couldn't get the camera out in time. Wait, here. It's getting dark, let's get a move on. Huh? You're going inside, you're done playing the drone? One more try. Man, yeah, batteries are dead, buddy. Oh, 
Simple and understated. But festive. Just how I like it. Sometimes I'm fortunate enough to catch these special moments where my, my amazing wife, who is an amazing mother, is just so sweet and loving to our son. And, you know, it just reminds me how fortunate I am to have her, that she's here, and how fortunate my son is to have her as a mother. And I know that she's hesitant sometimes about being on the vlog and stuff, but, you know, she's forever beautiful to me. And uh, we have these moments that I just want to share. I just want to tell the world about. check it out. Unfortunate event, Lisa did suffer a car accident and this lovely Mazda right here. But we haven't put out content relevant to in so long that uh, I've got it back already. But they did have it for about a month and that was fun. Uh, Lisa had a car accident. Some guy pulled out of the parking lot and hit her while she was driving down the road. Everybody's okay. That's what we have insurance for. You know, just another thing to the day. Thank God uh, I was off today. <laughs> She's on the way to a doctor's appointment, so uh, awesome. <laughs> I don't know. After everything we've been through, you just have to be happy that everyone's alive, right? Everybody's okay. I was fortunate enough to uh, receive a sweet box of meats from my mom and dad in Wyoming. Thank you. Didn't expect it. You, you see this, right? Like it's a... It's a styrofoam white cooler. Like maybe it's a bomb. I mean, I'm all for... I like... Yeah, well, no, like, <laughs> I, like, I don't know, like... I'm all for black market activity, but like, yeah. I didn't order this and I, I'm not making any money on it. So like, what's in the styrofoam container in my back pack? <laughs> I've ordered a couple of things for Christmas. Nothing that requires a cooler to ship. Sweet box of meats. Organs. Highly perishable frozen. Place in your freezer immediately. All right, thank you. Enjoy your Omaha steak selection. This is not a paid sponsorship from Omaha Steaks. <laughs> I should say that. He's just excited. Ain't nobody paying me. <laughs> <laughs> nobody sponsor me to make these stupid little videos. Lonnie out loud sponsored by Omaha Steaks. <laughs> uh, I take that sponsorship. <laughs> I would too. Free me. I'm here enough, so I would too. Okay. So this one is. I'm assuming this is the two filet six ounces. Ooh. Yeah, those look delicious. I'm not gonna bore the camera with every little sweet piece of meat. Sweet piece of meat. Normally it's just Lonnie's sweet piece of meat. <laughs> I mean, I roll with one sweet piece of meat all the time, but uh, today we got a box full of them. It says insert holiday cooler. This looks like a regular cooler. It's all there. It's all there, baby. Sweet box of meats. <laughs> that was a pleasant surprise today. We are enjoying that sweet box of meats. It's fantastic. <laughs> Mom, I can do the same shit to you. <laughs> Get out. I'm mother in it. Mm-hmm. When there are no more leaders to 
follow. You must be. Where's your. You mean to bring your saber with you? It's like an adult. Hey, shut up. Yeah. I thought you were going to get all dressed up. What? Got to see Star Wars. You do know that I'm a fanboy. If you don't, you should. Um, finally carved out time so we could go as a family to see The Last Jedi. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh, my biggest fear was that um, Ryan Johnson was going to fanboy too hard and maybe put in a lot of things that weren't relative to the plot or motivating the plot. I don't feel that way at all. I think it went. It was a fantastic story on its own and it fits very well in the Star Wars Skywalker saga. I think it's very appropriate. Um, I love the perspective and I just think it was done really well. Uh, I could get into that more in depth, but I won't. I'll save that for another day. It's a winter wonderland. how to caption this uh winter buffalo it's fantastic how about that view though how about that view that's a nice view appreciate what you have because you're gonna die someday you won't see that i promise I'm gonna review this real quick. Let's try it. Well, that's terrible. That's absolutely disgusting. Ugh. I won't get it again. But I'll finish this one. Put your bag of boys like, oh, you're so that's, fat. That's because. Yeah, no shave day. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> I have a beard back in like two, three days. Like it's it's low stress for me. I need to clean up once in a while, but you know, I don't know. As you may know from some of my sweet hats, I'm a Giants fan. Giants, baby. Mostly because my father was born and raised in Jersey, and uh, he was in the service, so he moved around a lot. So he grew up a Giants fan. I grew up a roaming Giants fan, and when we settled in western New York, upstate New York, uh, you know, I like the Bills. I like to see uh, the Buffalo Bills do well and win, as long as they're not playing the Giants. And they finally got a playoff berth for the first time in 17 seasons. And that was exciting. Uh, but in that, being the super fan that Dave is, um, him and Nikki uh, shot down to Florida for it, for the game. And I think that's fantastic, you know, just to be a part of it. Going to Jacksonville today. Jacksonville today! Jacksonville 2018! 2018. And as I pull away for work, off they go. The indigenous Buffalonians. Heading to the first playoff game in 17 years. Relatively excited about it. They're driving all the way from New York to Florida for a football game. There it is. There it is. And then over the entirety of the winter break that the boy had, we uh, had a lot of fun. Did some snowboarding, but I already burnt that footage by using it in the uh, for Lisa video, so I won't uh, bore you with that video twice. But we enjoyed some uh, outdoor activities and... We had a lot of Nerf Wars, but it was fun. Those are the best moments.
and I'm out. Here it comes. No, you're not my rhino. You asked for it, you let your guard down. You let your guard down. And I suffered for way too long. <laughs> Empty. Now the ultimate nerf gun. Fanny whooping. <laughs> Fanny whoopings! Here they come. Once clean up time. This is the this is a disaster. This is the Nerf War aftermath. We did it pretty good. Pretty good nerf for. <laughs>